Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about the Simplera CGM. This is actually one of them. The Simplera CGM uh, is one of the many uh, glucose sensors on the market now. Uh, of course, this is uh, a really new sensor. It's made by Medtronic and uh, Medtronic is one of the leading companies in diabetes technology. And as I will show you later in this video, I personally tested the accuracy and during my personal testing I found this sensor to be incredibly accurate and that's something I really like. It was also a very reliable sensor. I will tell you in this video what MART value I got with my own uh, testing and I will also tell you what the official MART value is that they, the company uh, reports. So um, let's start with the review. Now, maybe the first thing to talk about is how to insert it. Uh, so they, it comes with this uh, applicator. The Simplera is uh, simple and similar to insert, just like the the other you know main brands such as the Freestyle or the Dexcom sensors. I would say it has a very good applicator. It's easy to insert. Uh, and the sensor, uh, once it's on your arm, is similar in size, I would say, to the Libre 3. So I hold them here. Uh, of course, the shape is a little bit different. Actually, it's quite a nice shape. It's a like rounded rectangle. The warming up time of this sensor, uh, of the Samplera, is two hours. This is longer than some of the other sensors on the market. For comparison, the latest Dexcom models, like the Dexcom One Plus or the G7, they only need 30 minutes. And the, uh, the freestyle sensors, they use one hour. Now, after warming up, you get exactly seven days of use, seven days. This is shorter than the Dexcom sensors. They have 10 days, and at least the G7 and Dexcom 1. They might have different models, but let, let's focus on so like the main models. And it's much shorter than the latest Freestyle Libre 2 Plus sensor, which lasts for 15 days. But for me personally, I don't think that's a problem because my experience with this uh, Simplera sensor is actually that it was ultra accurate, at least for me. So experiences might differ, but this is about my experience, this review. And I, I will get back about uh, the MART value and so on. Now, for me, I would say when choosing a sensor, then you have sort of like a trade-off between the different things that you find important in a sensor. So, for example, you know, obviously the accuracy is really important. So they might say, well, yeah, uh, it only lasts for a week and it takes somewhat longer to warm up, but then I get a really good sensor. I get really good uh, quality uh, measures. So if the, it, so, at least for me, that is sort of like how I, how I make that choice. I think that's quite important. Now, the physical sensor is important, but ultimately you interact with it via the app on your phone. Now let's have a look at the, at the app and how I think that it compares to the competitors such as Freestyle and Dex Dexcom. The main display on the Simplera is actually good. Especially I like it that they allow you to scroll left and right with your finger. And also you can zoom in and out Although the zooming I found was not easy to do, and actually it took me a couple of days, and you know, it was the first time that I used the Simplera, it took me a couple of days before I figured actually out that it can be done. Now, fair enough, I did not read the manual. Um, the sensor, in, in my case, I, I got a sample from the conference, so it didn't come with a manual. I went to the website of Medtronic and I searched for the help document. I wanted to see if there's a PDF or something. Uh, I, I couldn't find that. Um, I guess they're still up updating the website, but I know they have some YouTube videos on how to insert a sensor. But so anyway, so think of that what you want. I think that that's sort of the zooming in that could be somewhat better, but maybe they will improve that. Uh, the, the thing with the zooming in is that you need to select, uh, touch the screen at a very specific location for it to work. I, I, I didn't find that intuitive. And also I found that the vertical scale of the app 
is not configurable. It goes all the way up to the maximum value of 22 millimoles or 400 milligrams per deciliter. Uh, it's nice if you can sort of like choose that range yourself. A great thing about this app is that it has really good control of the uh, alarm sounds. You can set the glucose level at which the alarms go off and you can set the alarms for the uh, glucose level going up quickly or dropping down quickly and I find that really nice and you get it on the G7, the Dexcom G7 as well, but you don't get it, for example, on the Dexcom One Plus or the Freestyle Libre 2 or 3, to the best of my knowledge. Also nice is that you can, uh, you can snooze the alarms and you can set a different alarm volume for, uh, for the nighttime. And, and that's a great idea. Uh, it's, it's nice that you can snooze the alarms. For example, you go into a meeting and you can say, okay, I, I don't want to have this thing go off for half an hour or so. Uh, that's nice. Overall, I would say the alarm management on the app is great, but it's not good that you cannot choose your own sounds. Now, the sounds in principle, I think they're, they're good, but um, the, the problem is a little bit that these sounds were, are not easy to distinguish from one another. They are different, but also there's no easy way to learn what different sounds uh, mean because there's not a button that you can sort of like okay let's test what the alarm for lows actually sounds like you cannot do that on the app so it's it's a little bit guesswork in that sense uh, certainly Dexcom uh, for certainly for the for the one plus and the G7 uh, which I've tested uh, that works much better but then at the same time uh, if you look at the Libre 3 app for Android Samsung phones for example uh, at least my experience is that I could not change the alarm sound uh, at all. So, so you know, like it, that, that's just how it is. Um, but I, I thought overall, I would say, actually, I, I think this is pretty good on the Simplera. What I found somewhat annoying with this app was that if there is an alert coming up, for example, oh, it's, it's, it's rising quickly or dropping quickly, then this uh, alert with the glucose value stays up and then you might uh, later look at your phone and say, oh, it's uh, 5.2, for example, uh, say 94. Oh, wait, but that was actually the alert message. So then you need to swipe the, you know, the already uh, no longer relevant, maybe alert uh, away. And then you say, okay, the current value is actually different. I, I thought that was not intuitively set up and they, and they might, they might change that hopefully. Um, given that it is such a new sensor hopefully they listen to these sort of reviews and and make changes also what i found funny and this is maybe only relevant for a small subset of users but if you have if you have the android developer mode on on your phone for example because you're a developer and you you develop software that you test out on your own phone then this uh, app will actually not work so you need to switch the developer mode off again i mean I found that in my case that was annoying. Now I know this is not relevant for most people, but it was relevant for me. Okay. It's great that you can calibrate this sensor to your finger prick blood uh, tests. Getting to the calibration entry in the app is actually not as easy as it's on the Dexcom app. For example, on Dexcom apps, you, you can just enter blood glucose and then the app asks you, is this for calibration or for just for logging? Now with the Simplera app, they, you can lock things and then there is a, a, a blood glucose lock option. But if you want to calibrate, you need to sort of like go through a whole bunch of so like sub menu. So first you need to tap the sensor symbol. Then you, there is sort of like a dialogue for that sensor. Then you need to tap that. Then there's an options button, and then there is a button enter blood glucose. And that still, you still, it, did, it didn't say anything about calibration. Only then once you have said enter blood glucose, then it says calibrate. Calibrate. Now the app comes, as I said, with logbook entries. For example, for blood glucose, that is not calibration, but you can enter, you know the standard stuff like your insulin or carbs for food but i would say it's very limited i would say all these apps they have fairly limited logbook options that's true for dexcom that's true for freestyle as well at least it depends you know i 
I, when I speak to people with diabetes, it, it seems that they generally do not use the logbook much uh, for, for, for food entries. And, and, you know, if you would need to do that, it's a lot of work. So maybe people uh, don't do that anyway. What's your experience? Leave a comment below the video about that. But it is a minimal logbook. Now, the app does not show any summarizing data whatsoever. So you won't be able to figure out how your blood glucose has been over the past day or whatever period, you know, using the app. Now, Dexcam and Freestyle do a much better job there. I mean, that's a huge difference. I actually found it astonishing that this uh, app does not show you what your average blood glucose over the past day or past week or whatever period was and or time and range and those sort of things. I hope they will add that. I mean, it seems you know, those data are in the app anyway, so why not Why not report it to people? Now, it's not that you can't get a report. Of course you can. You need to go to the CareLink website and log in with your account details. And then um, you, you can download your data there. And actually what's quite nice with the phone is that there's an option to update the data on CareLink so that when you go to the CareLink website, you get really, you get the latest data. And that's actually slightly different, at least from last time when I tried with Dexcom, I remember that was a little bit, uh, then you don't have it up to the moment, but you know, like they updated it up to like three hours before. Uh, so there's a little bit of lag and with freestyle it's always updated I think uh, to the last moment anyway uh, that, that I think you know it's nice that they have this website you can get the reports that's very similar to the Dexcom Clarity website or uh, freestyle uh, I think it's called Libre View there is also you know I know there is a CareLink app for phones but somehow uh, I tried that and I tried to log in but then it said you need a CareLink partner account or something and I, that was really confusing and, I, and I, even though you know I'm a technical person and I so like I couldn't be bothered to figure it out it seemed to be so like you know then when the apps complain with some some message then you you just give up uh and, and that actually you know given that this information that this summarizing information is quite important i, I think i hope that they will improve that i i must say i also tried the in pen uh app now that you can use that if you have a, uh, a medtronic in pen which is a smart pen which is really nice so where you can combine your uh you know your injection uh doses and so on with the Simplera app and then you have a separate app and, and the app the separate in pen app shows you the the glucose values that it gets from the Simplera sensor app and it works all together and it, and that I think is really cool uh, and I tried I played around with it a little bit I must say I don't have an in pen myself but you can still see how it works and you can enter uh insulin amounts but you cannot calculate the dosages for when i spoke there to the sales representative on at the conference he said to me well it is a way for people who might later go to a pump to learn on how to sort of like work in in sort of like in a system where where you have like the sensor working together with your insulin dosing so that that's it but that i think is something really good I called the helpline actually to ask them about the MART value because I couldn't find it anywhere on the website. They were really friendly and it's actually nice that uh, they have a helpline in the, you know, in the country where you live rather than that it is that you talk to somebody on the other side of the world or, or in a faraway country, which sometimes happens with call centers. With these, Medtronic has its own local call center, at least in the UK. I asked them and they said, well, we don't know, we, we will forward your question and, and that's right. So they did, they came back uh, pretty straightforward uh, back to me and they said the mark value is 10.8%. Uh, that's actually quite good. It's, it's slightly higher than the Dexcom G7 or the Libre 3, but I, in practice, I think, you know, I would say you, you, that's probably not necessarily noticeable, but but, 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 so there's an important but, but here. And actually this is good news uh, in terms of the Simplera. I actually calculated the mark myself. So, you know, you can take your own blood tests and then and, and, and compare how it uh, relates to the values of the sensor. And um, my mark value was, drum rolls, 
it was just 5.73%. Now, I must say, okay, it's a do-it-yourself mark, but it was lower than what I ever got with my do-it-myself mark values. That I, It's lower than I ever got on another sensor as far as I can remember. So I didn't get that with the G7. I didn't get that with the Libre 3. At least that's, that's not what I remember. I, I have tested it. Uh, it doesn't, of course, you could argue that doesn't say anything. You're, you're, I'm, I'm just doing this at home. But still, you know, personal experience really matters with these sort of things. They, they can say all sorts of things. But how does it actually work for you as, as, you know, as a customer? And for me, my experience with the Simplair was, I must say, I was really impressed with how reliable and accurate it was. I had, for example, several times that, you know, the, 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 the glucose meter for the blood finger prick test said exactly the same as the sensor. And uh, the largest difference that I ever got in, in my testing was where the Simplair said my blood glucose was 4.9 or 88, while the uh, the blood test said it was 4.2 and 76. And by the way, of course, these blood finger prick tests, they are not necessarily accurate either. So you have, you know, you have maybe they're both not correct. So, so, so you all, if you really want to know the mart, of course, you need to do it with a laboratory test and you need to do it all scientifically correct. So need to say that. But personally, yeah, I was happy about this sensor's accuracy and reliability. And that's why I, I would certainly recommend it, okay? Overall, the Simplera is a reliable sensor. Maybe I was lucky with this specific sensor. Maybe I got a super low mark, but that was just, uh, maybe with another Simplera, I, I, it would have been different. I don't know that, but for me, it was reliable. And therefore, I did not really mind the fact that it only lasted for seven days or that it had a longer warm-up time because it was just, you know, it was a sensor that I could trust. I think if you want an, you know, if you want an ultra reliable sensor that you can use to drive your pumps automatic uh, insulin dosing, this seems to me a very good choice uh, of sensor. The app though was a different story. It was great, of course, that I could snooze the alarms for meetings or something like that. I could control the sound levels, but otherwise the app was very limited and I didn't find it very use, user friendly for my taste. Okay, so everybody has different expectations. I would say it's very simplistic. So if you just want a really simple app where you say, all I want to do is just check what my blood glucose level is. I, I don't, you know, I, I don't want to get this summarizing data. That might be fine, but for me, it was a little bit too simplistic, and I think that, for example, uh, they should do they should look what, for example, Dexcom is doing with these apps, which, which I think the Dexcom apps they they are su I find them very they're they're nicely designed. Uh, but what do you think? Well, leave a comment below the video and tell me. Maybe you have a different experience. Maybe you you feel this this app was actually super good. Um, so, and that's it. That's my review. But altogether, uh. You know, great sensor, I can really recommend it, okay? So I'm really looking forward to hear what you think. Bye for now.